guys today's video i thought i would do a little kind of get to know me video i said in my previous i think it was my previous chatty get ready with me that i was going to be asking questions on my instagram so that i would do like a q a but i thought i would like combine the questions that i got with like a little kind of get to know me tag because um i haven't done anything like that on my channel and i just think i've uploaded quite a few videos like over the years and haven't actually like done this kind of video so you can get to know me a little bit better i thought i would start off by like answering some questions i literally just googled like list of about me thai questions so i'm gonna just pick and choose like which ones i think are actually relevant because some of these are like uh does your name make any interesting anagrams what so what is your full name my full name is robin ashley gilmore where are you from so i'm from belfast in northern ireland i'm sure you've gathered that by now where were you born i was actually born in canada but i didn't live there for very long like i moved back whenever i was like really young so i don't remember any of it at all it's like a one place that i really want to obviously go back to and see like see like where I was born stuff like that so hopefully in the next couple of years i can get to do that get the opportunity to go to canada visit my hometown what are your favorite things about yourself i think one of my favorite things about myself is that i can see the good in a lot of things and in a lot of people I also like how like laid back i am most of the time um this video is getting too deep like i don't know what i like about myself i like to make sure people um are included in things as well i don't like to see people left out so i would i like that about myself that i would try and include people who maybe i feel like um yeah don't want to speak up or something i don't know yeah that's something i like about myself what are your best characteristics so i'm assuming that's like features wise i like my bum it could do with a little bit of toning at the minute and a little bit of weight loss you know around the thigh areas but my bum i quite like my bum i actually quite like my nose yeah i don't hate my nose at all so i think maybe my nose and my hair i actually really like my hair i like how long i can get my hair to grow which of your parents are you more like I don't think I look like either of my parents like I always say this like I literally think I'm adopted because I don't look like either of them at all more people say a lot of people would actually say like when I obviously whenever I don't have makeup on like I look like my mum more like, nobody really has ever said that I look like my dad so I would say then probably my mum um I would look like more but personality wise I actually think I have like a mixture uh, like half and half of both I think I get like my grumpy side from my dad because I can be like quite like grumpy sometimes. Oh, spill on the tea here. What is one thing that you've never revealed to your parents? Can't start this. My mum watches these videos. My little sister watches these videos. She'll tell them. That's a hard one. I'm quite open and I'm not like that badly behaved. Maybe when I was younger, like probably like what I got up to when I was younger, probably actually yeah i used to like do bad things when i was young not bad things but just like you know like silly things if i had a child that would not jesus i'm putting a tracker on my child you know that way oh, i can't say on here because they watch this video what is your biggest accomplishment oh huh. biggest accomplishment probably buying this house probably being a homeowner i would say was my biggest accomplishment it's a very liberating feeling so yeah yeah getting buying my own house not by myself by the way like i live here with my fiance but buying our house buying our house was definitely like my biggest accomplishment accomplishment anyway what is your biggest fear probably like people that i love I hate thinking about it it's actually horrific like passing away that is definitely like a real trigger for me like it makes me very anxious like i would lose a lot of sleep over thinking like once i start thinking about that i would lose a lot of sleep over it so i would say that's definitely my biggest fear but i think everyone's scared of that i don't think anyone's like not scared of that so apart from that then my biggest fear i don't like um like eerie wigs and like bugs like that like millipedes and stuff 
<gasps> yeah, that's probably like up there with my biggest fears, definitely. Like little uh, bugs. Uh. Like I don't like flies or spiders, but like you know them other bugs that are like not your like not just like a wee spider or like yeah, like wood louse and like yeah, millipedes, centipedes, ooh, all them kind of weird ones. No, 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 no. What is your biggest regret? I have a tattoo that says "Je ne regret rien," which means no regrets. I regret nothing. Um. But I actually, I don't actually have any regrets. Something I maybe wish I would have done is went to uni and had like a proper university experience. Maybe. But then, who knows? Who knows? Do you know what I mean? I could, get, I could get a degree and it would be absolutely, could be absolutely useless to me for what I actually want to do in my life. So, but I think it might help if I had have done it. But anyway. What is your eye colour? It is hazel. Sometimes it looks like more green than others. So I'd say like brown, like I've always thought my eyes were brown. But especially as I get older, the more I look at them, they're not really brown, they're more like hazel. <gasps> my eyelash is coming off. Guys, you should have told me my eyelash was coming off. What inspires you? Um. Just what inspires me, people who aren't afraid to do what they want to do in life and take risks. Like, um, one person I really love like watching her stories on Instagram is P. Louise. I honestly think she's amazing. Like, she came from nothing really to literally a millionaire, like, you know, making millions a year for this brand that she's created. She basically didn't take no for an answer. She always believed in herself and believed that she could do it. That's a massive inspiration for me because I tend to like to play it safe. But in the situation I'm in at the minute, I feel like I want to take more risks because I think if it pays off, then you're in a far better situation than if you didn't try at all. So yeah, um, I would say P. Louise is a massive inspiration. Who's your favourite celebrity? Okay, now this is a difficult one. For years, I have been completely, completely obsessed with Justin Bieber. Like, like it wasn't normal. He's married now, do you know what I mean? It's changed, it's different. Feels a bit different now. I still feel like he should be with Selena Gomez, but that's another video. I love Rihanna, I've always love Rihanna. I don't really like, I don't really follow celebrities that much. Like I follow like influencers and like Instagrammers and YouTubers, but I don't really follow like celebrities so much anymore. What is your favourite drink? Probably like a passion fruit martini. Um, I love an espresso martini. Oh, baby Guinness. I love baby Guinness. Like it's beautiful. Do you notice how they're all alcoholic beverages? What is your favourite food? Mm, probably like honey chilli chicken with fried rice out of the Chinese or a Texas barbecue from Domino's. You can't pick one, like there's three things I like. So Texas barbecue from Domino's, honey chili chicken with fried rice, or a butter chicken with peshwari naan and paleo rice. Three favorite meals I could live on forever. Can't break it down to one, sorry, just can't do it. What is your favorite physical activity? I'm just asking this because I think it's hilarious because I don't like physical activity at all. So literally nothing literally no physical activity to me is enjoyable what is your favorite type of clothing loungewear all day every day i love it i just love how like chill it is but i love how like glam loungewear is getting like you know full face of makeup but like chilled loungewear like i love that that's my favorite type of look what is your favorite candle scent <sighs> Ooh, probably Le labo santal 26 i love it absolutely love it that has to be like my favorite um, my favourite fragrance is Santal 33 but the candle is called Santal 26 but they smell pretty similar just the candle's a little bit sweeter because it just smells better in your home like that. Or I like the uh, Bath and Body Works, the Mahogany Teakwood, the intense one, <sighs> that's beautiful as well. And they also do a vetiver, something vetiver as well for Bath and Body Works, it's also beautiful. What was your favourite subject in high school? Art. Definitely art. I used to love it. Although it did take up like a lot of my time and it was actually probably 
the most stressful one as well but it was still my favourite because um, yeah, I've always been like quite artistic so yeah definitely art. Are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? Definitely avoid conflict. I don't think I'm like a, what do you call that? Like a confrontational person at all. Like I don't like it. I just like to be like chilled. Do you know what I mean? Don't really want to be arguing or fighting with people because like what do you achieve? If somebody like did something like bad on me, I suppose that's a different story. Um, You know, I would probably engage that head on if somebody really did something that really upset me. Um, like I would let them know but then I probably like just wouldn't talk to them again do you know what I mean I probably just wouldn't talk to them again I probably wouldn't cause like too much of a big deal because I'm just kind of like cut them out of my life you know are you a dog person or a cat person my whole life I've been a cat person because my little cat whiskers he's now like like 17 or something like really old um, was like my child like whenever I was living in my parents house like she slept in my bed every night oh I just love her so much I still love her so much then we got a dog like we got a family dog and obviously I loved him but I was still very much a cat person and then I got my own little dog like a year ago and like she's so fun you know like you can play with her she's really like active I like the way like she interacts with me more than a cat would but at the same time it's a different type of um it's a different type of love i have to say love from a cat and love from a dog is a different type of love definitely so i can't say can't say whether i'm one or the other because that wouldn't be fair are you a good cook that's hilarious that's actually very funny uh i'm not horrendous i mean i wouldn't be able to whip up a meal like if i'm following a recipe i would be able to do it no problem well, not no problem. I'd be able to do it if I was following a recipe. Um, you know, like I wouldn't burn the house down. But I hate like cutting things and chopping things. Do you know what I mean? I don't like that. And then I don't like cleaning up after. So I don't like like using loads of different like pots and pans. And then having to like clean all of that up. So am I a good cook? I think whenever I make stuff, I think it's nice. I just don't really enjoy it or like I'm not very spontaneous like I would just read it from a recipe whereas my fiance he could just like look at ingredients and know that they're gonna go together whereas I'm not like that at all if you had more courage what would you do differently in your life now I would definitely just like go head in straight for the makeup just go do it basically that's it I would just like start up my own business like right now <laughs> if you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life what would it be probably lacking confidence in myself I feel like I do lack a bit of confidence at times a lot of times actually and I'll talk myself out of things like I'll say like oh no I can't do that until this happens or no I'm not ready to do that yet like I'm not experienced enough yet that's definitely something I wish I could change about myself is like having more confidence and believing in myself that I can do things and not putting it off saying like oh no I'll do that but not right now or there's actually some funny questions here um can you whistle kind of can you touch your nose with your tongue I don't really want to do this and wreck my makeup no 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 chance it literally doesn't go above my lip can you just split no i've never been able to do a split i used to go to gymnastics when i was younger and i don't even think i could do a split then do you see if this is actually quite funny this is so random like why has anyone thought of this but at the same time it needs to be asked do you save old greetings cards and letters or do you throw them away i save them all like i have like literally a stack about this size all cards from I was literally like born letters I'll keep letters for ages before actually throwing them away because I'm so scared that I like throw something away and then go to find it and like I'm like oh shit I've been that I actually needed it do you take any pills or medication daily some of these questions are a bit personal but yeah I just take the pill every day and then I was on lima antibiotics there for three months but today was my last day taking them 
so that's me finished with them and I think they were for my skin and I think they did a good job I started kind of tracking the progress at the start and then just like stopped but I still want to make like a video on that I still want to make a video on the progress because um I do feel like the, the antibiotics and stuff and probably the contraceptive pill helped too but I do think they've really helped still get little breakouts here and there but not that bad as what it was do you have a tattoo yes i have three tattoos i have one behind my ear that says dare to dream i have one on my ribs that says je ne regret de rien which means no regrets and then i have one on my ankle which is a little um my star sign so it's like a star, sagittarius star sign do you have any allergies i would be quite like allergic to eyelash glue it's getting a little bit better though but i don't know if that's because i haven't worn them that much in a while and whenever I do wear them it's only for like a few hours and I take them off. My eyelids would like get swollen and then like crossed up and not cute, not cute at all. I think I'm also allergic to fruits. Whenever I eat like um, strawberries or kiwi or most fruits really, my tongue gets really itchy in the back of my throat. I have to go like... Does anybody else get that? I googled it and apparently if you have hay fever that can happen. So, What is your most embarrassing moment? Hmm... Probably whenever I was younger, I hope like the people that were there aren't watching this video. Whenever I was younger, I fell down like a grating. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So we were all like up an alleyway, like drinking when I was like 13 or 14 or something. And it was like up the side of like a wee shop. And it was like out the back of people's like houses. And there was like an open grating. So it hadn't fucking been covered. Like it wasn't covered. There was no like, there was no metal grating on top of it, so it was just like a just like a hole in the ground. But obviously, in the hole is like you know the sewers. So little old me was leaning against the wall, stepped back or to the side or what I don't know what I did, but my whole leg went into the grating right up to my knee. So, well, one, I could have broke my leg. I wish I had a claimed off that and said that I injured myself because I probably would have got a good bit of money for there being no cover on it. That shouldn't have happened. Um, but, like, I was wearing really, really, I remember it so vividly. I don't know, this must have been, like, in at the time. I was wearing, like, bright yellow skinny jeans. Why? I don't know. But it must, I must have, like, liked them at the time. And the whole, like, up to my knee of these yellow skinny jeans were, like, greeny brown. And they smelt like... I don't even want to tell you what they smelt like. Because it's coming back to me and it's not... It's not okay. And it'll make you not well. Just know that it was just, you know, what comes out of toilets and drains and everything mixed together to create this horrific smell and I was so embarrassed like a couple of, the f of my friends had to walk me down home actually one of my like childhood friends Connor walked me down home thought it was the most funniest thing in the world still like as I got older like to remind me about it as well I ran up my stairs and like got a plastic bag shoved them in a plastic bag washed like my legs obviously in the bath um got changed and went back out again and left the left the jeans in the plastic bag outside my bedroom window for weeks weeks because i was so scared to tell my mummy like that i was standing up an alleyway and stuck my leg down the grating what is your star sign sagittarius i don't really know like what that means i think sagittarius is like i don't know sometimes i read them and i'm like that's not me they're like oh like you know what you want and you're you tell people how you feel and i'm like that's not me at all so I'm kind of fed up with those questions now. So I'm just going to go on and I'm going to answer some of the questions that were left on my Instagram page. So first one is from Ashley and it says, have you set a date for your wedding? So yes, I have set a date for my wedding. It is in August of 2021. So very excited about that. Hopefully the weather is great. Um, I'm so glad that it's next year and not this year because I don't know what I would have done if my wedding was postponed. Like... You know, if I was going to get married this year and I got pushed back to next year, I would, would have been devastated. Like, I feel so bad for all of the brides. I've had to move their dates. Like, I couldn't imagine. I can't imagine how hard that would be. Sasha 
Tell us about your first kiss. God. I don't even want, like, I'm, like, because these people will watch this video. Like, I can't. I have a fiancé. I can't talk about my first kiss. I was like, what age was I, though? It was bad. Like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't good. Probably it wasn't good on either of our ends. Like, I don't think either of us knew, like, how to kiss. It was all too much. And there was, like, people watching and all. And it was, like, a big day. Like, everyone was like, oh, my God. Like, so embarrassing. Oh, oh, I hate thinking back about like being like a teenager it's horrible somebody asked what age are you i'm 26 years young and that same person said what is your favorite makeup brand oh that is a good question that's a hard one probably p louise i would say because everything she's brought out like is very good like her eyeshadow like the quality of her eyeshadows are amazing um yeah my P. Louise. I have favourite brands for like different things if you know what I mean. So like I'll have like a favourite eyelash brand which is probably like Taddy Lashes. My favourite foundation is like Maybelline Superstay. Like I have loads of different um, things. I just think P. Louise brings out very like innovative products. I do really like MAC products as well. I think a lot of them are good but then there's some that aren't as well. So I don't know, I don't really have a full on favourite makeup brand but one that I'm really loving right now is P. Louise and I love her Instagram page and everything. Ashley wrote, how do you keep your hair in such good condition? Ashley, honestly, I literally wash my hair with tea gel. Like, that's it. I don't condition my hair. I am literally a nightmare. I would dry my hair. So I wash my hair every like kind of couple of days or so. I wouldn't wash every day. Um, um, whenever I do wash it, I just wash it with tea gel because I get like quite like um, like a flaky like there's some there. I would get like a flaky scalp, um, and tea gel doesn't really seem to be working for me anymore. Like I still get like flakes, like especially like round the front of my head here it gets very flaky and like um, dry. So if anybody has any recommendations for like an itchy, flaky scalp. Please let me know because tea gel just isn't cutting it anymore and it also kind of i feel like it dries my hair out as well because i'm getting like all these little like breakages at the front so i feel like if anyone has any recommendations for like something good that would treat my scalp for like flakes but then um like a nice like moisturizing shampoo that isn't going to make my hair greasy Please let me know down below because I am rubbish with hair care. It's one thing I am just, I've never been really good at. So yeah, in conclusion to that question, I literally, all I do is wash my hair with like shampoo and then I'll dry it with a hair dryer. And I just try to use as little heat on it as, pos as possible. So whenever I dry my hair, like my hair is not really straight, so I don't use straighteners or anything like to straighten it. I would just let it like fall, just whatever way it falls. Rob says, what advice would you give someone nervous but really wanting to start vlogging? Literally just do it. Like there's no need to be nervous. I feel like it's like a normal thing these days is for people to vlog. So I don't even think you should be nervous about it. Um, like everyone's on their phone, on their stories. It's basically like the same thing. Only if you wanted to, you could use like a good camera. But then you can just do it on your phone. Like you could still make a good vlog on your phone. I was obviously nervous whenever I started posting videos like thinking like oh my god what are people gonna think but like i literally don't care now nobody has been horrible at all like maybe whenever i was younger people were like oh my god like you post on youtube or something like you know but now i just feel like it's whatever like everyone does it now Rob, well, i think you should do it i would watch your vlogs i would definitely watch your vlogs that'd be quite interesting i would just get your first one out of the way get your first vlog up and just get it out of the way and i promise you after you get like that first one up um it gets so much easier. It gets so much easier to do, like definitely. There's another question here. What is your favorite clothes brand? I really like Pretty Little Thing. I feel like everything I've bought from them is like quite good quality for the price. So um, yeah, I've never been really like unhappy with anything. I'm not really into like big designer brands or anything like that. So yeah. Chloe says, do you have any recommendations for acne scars on the face? Oh my god. No, unfortunately not yet. Um 
if anybody does have any recommendations please leave them down below it's definitely something that um i struggle with is acne scars like so annoying they are literally so annoying There's, i think they're actually probably sometimes worse than the acne itself i have this stuff here that i'm gonna start trying i have actually got it a while ago but um i got it for my makeup kit and i haven't really been doing makeup so i haven't really been using it so i put it into my own little personal collection it's from mac lightful c marine bright formula softening lotion and i am gonna start using this every night it's like a toner but it makes your skin feel really hydrated after i was looking it up and just seeing like because i haven't used it in a wee while i was like oh do people actually like this because i just bought it whenever i was at the airport but a lot of people were saying that it did help like remove their scarring i'm gonna keep keep at that and see how that goes the best thing is time honestly but i'm sorry i can't really answer that question i'm not very helpful but chloe i'll let you know how that mac um toner goes though because i'm gonna be using it every night and chloe also said you should do like a clothes haul i would love that I would love that too. Um, hopefully the uh, bank balance allows it sometime soon. Just not right now. There's a wedding to be planned. And yeah, Clothes are on the back burner, unfortunately. I need to pay for an eyelash extension course, which is happening on the 19th of July, actually. Learn how to do like classic lash extensions. It'll be like another wee part of my business that I want to really focus on. But that's expensive to learn and then like kit will be expensive and blah 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 so yeah clothes might have to wait for a wee while I'm sorry Brooke says where am i seeing your beautiful self for a catch-up oh my friend um brick i will slide into your dms and we will arrange something belfast is opening up now bars are open restaurants are opening up it's fantastic we could definitely do something like nice and cute sometime soon so yeah, I'll slide into your DMs and we'll arrange something. That is it really for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. If there is anything else that I maybe didn't include or that you would have wanted to know, you can go ahead and ask me down below. I'm sure I will do another Q&A at some stage. So I'll gather a little bank of questions. If you want me to, I can film this look. It's actually not that hard. Like if you have the right tools, this look isn't that hard at all so if you want me to do a tutorial on this look i can do so not a problem just let me know down below as per usual if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel i would love you forever it really means a lot whenever i see that like um you guys are subscribing and like seeing you all liking my videos it's amazing it makes you feel so 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 good and so happy and makes me want to keep making videos so yeah Please, if you could, you just drop me a little like, tell your friends to watch some of my videos, tell them I'm real fun and, you know, dead artistic and dead easy to watch and all, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm talking shite now, it's two in the morning and I'm like, time like on boogaloo. Bye.